Yo guys, my name is 18 Design and today we're gonna see how to use the fusion mask and also what is the fusion mask. So as you already today we're gonna see what is the fusion mask and how to use it. So first of all I'm gonna create a file you just to import my photo so i'm gonna place my photo let's uh, choose for example this city right here okay like so and uh, maybe we want the puff fish i think it's a puff fish uh, in the sky why not creativity is not logical sometimes okay it's a big puff fish but just for example okay so First of all, um, the fusion mask is the way to make it make object visible and invisible, like the eraser tool do. Instead, of, uh, instead of deleting it forever, it just hide it, and in this way you don't destroy your picture. So let's let me show you that. Let me explain you. So I'm gonna create uh, this file, convert, uh, rasterize, sorry, and uh, use the eraser hide this one of course use the eraser I'm just erasing it somewhere over the rainbow right here and that looks really weird <laughs> okay but let's pretend that I do a bunch of effect like I had channel curve vibrance everything like this and I want to go back so of course you can increase your history um, history number so you can get more backup but for me I use the fusion mask which is better in some way so let me show you uh, we're gonna do the same with this puff of fish but instead of choosing the eraser and rasterize this thing this layer I'm gonna keep it at a smart layer just click right here and just paint it black like so so I paint black puff of fish okay and I'm just like I erase it too much so I want to go back no worries just select the white color and just paint in white and this is how that work so we can paint that maybe we can even do that up in right here oh that, that looked pretty weird but cool at the same time oh well. then this is what you basically do the fusion mask but you also can use it with the um, adjustment layer you know the like luminosity levels curve black and white vibrant saturation new saturation color balance black and white everything like this so for this I gonna maybe create the saturation just or the vibrant sorry and just paint back as you can see the effect apply but not everywhere only where it's white Bas basically what you can see in the fusion mask is that so if I remove the fusion mask it gives you something like this and if I put the fusion mask on, back on it look like this um, I forgot to tell you the the shortcut of course so if you want to see what your fusion mask look like you have to hold your alt key and just click on the fusion mask and if you want to hide your fusion mask you have to press the shift key and just um, click on this so you can see the red cross mean that the fusion mask is not appearing anymore but uh, so you as you can see here we can do another thing which is control the feather and the density of the layer mask so let's say we want just not that bright you know we don't want uh, the full vibrance effect but we don't want the no uh, vibrance effect I don't know how to explain that but I mean not 20 uh, not 100 percent and not zero percent we want between so we want 50 percent of the effect so we're gonna put 50 here and as you can see more i control more the fusion mass become gray because it worked like this 
if you let's do that if you select like a gray like so you erase but not everything you just um, make invisible some part but not everything it's I'm not usually work with gray color I just use the density but that's a good trick to know so now we have that as you can see but it also apply to effect um, by effect I mean like the filter uh, like the Gaussian blur like the high pass like every effect like this so we're gonna make our puff official bit blurry like two and just here you see now you have this filter mask which is the same as the fusion mask and just paint over when you want <coughs> I didn't paint it back where you don't want the, the blur to be applied and now if I hide it it's blurry it's not blurry but on the edge it's blurry so that's pretty much it for this tutorial it was a quick tutorial but I think um, it was important to tell you what is the fusion mask and how to use it in the good way so if you like this tutorial comment in below share this video don't forget to hit the like button and i see you in the next one bye